Hello everyone, thanks for being here. Welcome to the channel. Coach Mike is here. We are uh, about to answer a question from one of our viewers. Shout out to Nigel for the question. Uh, the question Nigel had was, what would we say right now at our current level of jiu-jitsu to our white belt first day selves? Um, and so we thought about it for a minute. And uh, so I'll, I'll start. Um, I would probably say to, uh, to try to, to really focus on, and this sounds like super basic, but focus on um, the most, find the, what the fundamentals are and focus on that. Because there's a reason why they're called fundamentals. Like, it's like the, the whole Karate Kid Miyagi thing isn't real, it's not a lie. Like, as ridiculous as some of the fighting in those movies are, that part is real. Like, if you do something a whole bunch of times, it becomes built in, it's a, if it's a fundamental aspect of what you're trying to do, then uh, it's gonna help you uh, build your entire game from there. So. Find out what the fundamentals are, base, connection, strategy, breathing, and uh, just get that as deep as, as you can. Uh, I think that's, oh, and uh, try to try to relax. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, so um, I'd piggyback right off that. I would definitely 100% agree, which does not make this for a great video. But um, to, to expand upon it, um, let's talk about like specifically me, okay? Because I do think you know, certain people who come in with certain, like, um, skills already, like, coming into jiu-jitsu, maybe it'd be beneficial to have some, like, different advice. So, for example, I came in with already fairly strong wrestling background uh, when I started training MMA and jiu-jitsu, and my, in your goals, like, knowing your goals, too, my goal was to become a professional MMA fighter uh, and, like, you know, run down that career path. Um, so some things that I would have liked to have done differently back as a white belt is I would, I would tell myself a lot of what Jared just said, right? And I would want to understand those fundamentals. And I think when I was a white belt, I pretty much just did what I was told in a sense where like, you know, like if my coach Warren, if he was like, okay, in half guard, you know, you get a far side underhook. You get shoulder pressure on the near side, uh, on the near side, you know, knees together underneath the hip line, pike your hips up, circle to the right, drop your knee and clear Okay, like I would just do that. Just do it, do it, do it, right? And then what I would like to have done is maybe dive a little bit deeper and thought a little bit more diligently about like, why is this working, you know, right? Like, and, and it may be due to my wrestling background, having, having been wrestling since I was four years old. Um, you know, back when you're a kid, you just don't, you don't question anything. Like, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, this is a double leg. You're like, yep, that's a double leg. Like, whatever you say, you could have told me to pick up one leg. If Coach called her the double leg, and that's what it was. To me, you know? Um, so a little bit more of like understanding why. Why these techniques work. Okay, the far side underhook prevents them from coming up onto their side and allows me to maintain a pin. The near side shoulder pressure prevents them from turning into me, which is their typical escape route. Me piking my hips up allows me to start to effectively clear my knee through the guard. Me circling makes their guard weaker because it disproportionately twists their body, which will then allow me to free the rest of my leg. Like understanding the, those details. We have videos on it um, with the side control talking about the cage, right? Building the cage and stuff like just like understanding like oh like in side control we want our elbow here our arm here well what's that arm why do we want that elbow there oh it stops the hip from moving out why do we want our knee there oh it stops the hip from moving in oh why do we want our shoulder here oh it stops the head from moving in that direction so just like understanding the whys i think would have helped me progress faster now i eventually understood them and maybe that was at the right time so like you know you know i'm not like oh i did it wrong wrong like wrong but those are some things that may have expedited my uh, learning curve. Um, for me specifically, being a wrestler, I would have liked to have spent more of an emphasis on guard retention. Like just like my mobility from underneath. Um, I think having that and like being like setting aside times where it was okay to be on bottom and okay to play a guard would have helped me develop um, a more well-rounded skill set. Um, but where I was with like an MMA focus, it was like, get to the top, get to the top, get to the top. So anytime I was on my back, especially coming from a wrestling background and moving more towards an MMA focus as part of my jujitsu, it's a lot about like wrestling up, wrestling up, wrestling up and getting on top as opposed to, you know, playing like a guard and understanding the mobility of how I can move my legs to replace um, guards and put blocks in the way of stopping passes 
um, that's something that I think would have been good for me to do as well. Mm. But I don't fault my younger self for not doing it that way. I completely understand the mindset that I was in. And, you know, it's like not like I did bad. I just could have done better. Right. Right. Um, yeah, so I, I think it, like specifically talking about your, your younger self, I'm glad you said that. So I, I would say that to myself probably what I actually say to the to the people in the, the intro class is like this is a, an academy, it's a school, right? So like we're, we're just here to learn. And it doesn't matter if you win, you know. So it, it, winning is fine; it's good to win, but but we're here to learn and get better every time. So uh, it focus on trying to get to get at least something out of every time to come in. You know that that's like. That's probably one of the things I would say. Uh, you know what? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. The number one thing that I could have benefited from is that, right? Not needing to win everything, right? Um, accepting that, like, I'm likely going to lose when trying to acquire a new skill or a new understanding, right? That that would have been the biggest difference maker for me, and I'm sure, I'm sure I was told that, you know. But like, that's something that you gotta gotta like believe from within is going to benefit you and sometimes that can be hard to see because then you're just getting your ass kicked and sometimes you're getting your ass kicked by somebody who like you're like dude i know i can kick your ass <laughs> right but like through the skill development but yeah that's that's actually changed my mind i still stand by everything i said but that would be number one and i think it's important to hear it from somebody who is you know who knows something about doing the thing you're doing too because like you know if, if they're saying like but, but if you're feeling some kind of way about losing at this, it's the wrong thing. Like, don't you don't have to feel that way. Like, that's not what we're doing here. That's not the point. You know. So if someone who knows what they're doing says that to you and says, like, if you're if you if, if you start to feel like you know you're getting really emotional about it, you're kind of being an asshole. Like, stop, stop. Yeah. You know, like it's okay to want to win. But again, yeah. this is a school. You know, it's that, that's the competition is just one of the things, one of the aspects of all this thing, all these things that we're doing. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Nigel, for that great question. Guys, keep bringing these questions. I really enjoyed um, it, that being pulled out of me, you know. And I think, you know, what we said is definitely going to benefit um, those white belts out there. And, you know, I think it benefits us as well as instructors, you know. So it's like, okay, like maybe I need to put more of an emphasis on whenever I like maybe I'm making a connection with a white belt or whatever, being, like trying to like really get that message through like hey man like you don't gotta win right now <laughs> you know what i mean like let's develop this skill yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. yeah well uh yeah thanks nigel for the question uh thank you everyone for watching uh do the liking the subscribing uh, hit the bell thanks for coach mike for being here uh and come down and train Take the, uh, the first bit on this one, or you need it? Uh, lead us in, and then, uh, yeah.